another episode of Summer Days Trial for 19th Ray Return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hopefully, everyone out there is having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better uh, from here on out. Yay! Except for that zombie, he's dead. Uh, but last we left off, oh my goodness gracious, last episode was crazy. Check it out if you haven't yet, because we got ourselves into some major shenanigans. If you guys don't remember, we ventured off to Bufu freaking Egypt on pretty much an extended vacation, and we thought this town was really good in some regards. It had like a few factories we wanted to loot, one of which we already looted up. Uh, but then that was it. There wasn't really like a settlement or like a, a settlement or a trader nearby until last episode. So we fed it off against the horde, and we also discovered a trader on the outskirts that we somehow missed in the beginning. Small brain moments, I know. And that trader sent us to a quest to complete a trade route over here to the east. I didn't know this town existed either. It was hidden behind the tree line and this road doesn't connect. And I thought since this kind of like major road here, because if you guys, if you guys don't know in Seven Days to Die, the way random generation works, is that this major road connects towns. And this major road kind of ended here, which made it seem like a dead end town. But then the trader that I found just the other episode also told me, hey, there's another trader literally right over here. We're about to complete a trade route and talk to them for the very first time. So this is a huge development because no longer do we gotta leave? I think these towns in the south might actually be our permanent home because they have some incredible loot locations. We already have a few traders incredibly close to each other. And, well, we're gonna be able to get some major stuff done. Obviously, we're working towards getting our hands on power tools for building a more custom base, for gathering more resources, for building a more advanced base. Big stuff that I wanna do, obviously, get better vehicles and looting some of these new locations such as, oh yeah, there's another factory in this town, forgot to mention. These locations have really good loot, great way to get experience, great way to unlock new perks, and that means we're going to be able to hopefully unlock and build with some of those better, uh, what you might call, vehicles as well. And ultimately, man, hopefully either we can buy like a freaking auto shotgun or something, because that's the thing too, from all this looting, we are also acquiring a little something known as loot, which we can then sell now that we actually know that there are traders here for money, and then we can buy stuff from them. Beforehand, before we knew that there were traders in these southern zones, I thought we'd have to just haul all our stuff back up north, which is why I wanted to build a better vehicle before we left. But now, this might, I mean, we might not even have to leave. And we might just be able to sell stuff here. And, I mean, this is just a great, great, great freaking place. Destroyed workbench, unfortunately. Bro, I had already a better sledgehammer? Yeah, today's gonna be a good day. Great. Great start to the day. Great start. Um, so we gotta go down there for this quest. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Is there uh, some kind of like secret basement we get into? It's literally telling us to go down there. Or maybe we just gotta go talk to the trader. Maybe it has nothing to do with the basement whatsoever. It's just kind of directing us towards here. Also, potentially likely. This is a special quest we went on, right? Opening trade routes. Head to trader gen and open a new trade route. So yeah, you just gotta talk to the trader. So I think talking here will be fine. Is that a functioning forge? Ah, oh, it's destroyed. Gosh darn. Hello. I like forged iron. All right. There's a bright side to it, but hello, Trader Jen. I'll make the time. Heck yeah, I got plenty of those. And check it out. I mean, we don't really get a lot, but we've got some experience. And uh, we can now get jobs from her as well. <gasps> and she has level two jobs ready to go. Let's go. One of these not too far away. Dude, the good thing about doing more quests also, we unlock these higher tier jobs, better rewards, more experience, more money. You know? Don't diddly right. mind oh, if I diddly do. Now, now, long. now get radiated shirt sure oh radiation <laughs> that'll be fun uh let's see our inventory because girl i got some stuff to sell and maybe i have some stuff to buy that's a really nice hunting rifle very expensive but nice could be one potential thing for us to use our money on or we save it until something even better comes along like vehicle parts or even just like a full-out vehicle we can buy or a really cool gun that i'm talking about like that auto shot <gasps> motorcycle dude Dude, say it ain't so. Oh, let's go. These last few episodes have been game changers. Wow. Bro, I was about to say get hype in the chat. This isn't a stream. <laughs> but get hype in that comment section and smash that like button if you're hyped for this because ladies and gentlemen, we just got it. We just skipped over the mini bike. We're going straight to motorcycle. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, I did come here with the original plan of selling a lot of things. Let's sell some of the stuff. We got a lot of books. We've already learned the, the perfect thing for selling. They're worth a pretty penny. I'll tell you what. 
We'll continue doing that. Some of these parts I don't really intend on using. Uh, it's in a grain alcohol. I don't really intend on using that. Anything good on the second page? Not really, but oh my goodness gracious, dude. We got the motorcycle. Let's go. Wow, wow, freaking wee wah. Also, I might... That's an expensive book, but YOLO. Even though I'm not going to plan on doing damage to land claim property, still useful because if we learn all the books in this series, we'll get a bonus perk. So I'll purchase anything that I don't have. I got the money for it. Urban combat, 5% less damage and 10% more damage when indoors. That's a really good perk, actually. Um, lucky, lucky me. I got some stuff to sell. Still a lot of good stuff. We got a lot. Oh, uh, motor tools. I'm not going to sell those. Actually, mm. I don't know. I, I, I just might keep those just in case. I will sell the machete parts. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sell that. Sell that. Stun baton. I could sell that. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do with that yet. Um. Oh, we got a book over there to sell. A little bit more money. Boop. Don't mind if I learn that other book from you. And she also has food for sale. I'm running a little bit low on food, but also I might just hit up that food shop nearby. Uh... I might need to stop back at home to grab some gas as well. But for now, I mean, we're good. Jen. Thanks for letting me take care of you. And that, tell your friends. Thank you, Jen. You're awesome. You're getting five stars on Yelp, girl. <laughs> You're getting five stars on Yelp, baby. Oh my god. You guys don't understand. Like, that's incredible. And in one day, she's gonna have a brand new stock of stuff. And so will our trader back home. I should probably mark these guys, by the way, with the... Uh, yeah, I'll just do a trader. And, uh... No, not quick waypoint. Save waypoint. Nope, hello. A lot of buttons I did not mean to press. Hello, hello. Eh, opa. Oh, we were. There you go. Save waypoint. I'll do that. Trader... Er. Boom. Another trader right there. Just trying to mark these fellers. Uh, really quickly, I'll go to that second floor. See if there's anything else here. Because there can sometimes be a little cheeky loot hidden in a boot. Which I would not mind getting my grubby little fingers on. But man, the motorcycle. Like, I just can't believe that happened. Uh, I've, I've been doing very wishful thinking. But that right there is why I love our strategery. We get loot, we get experience, we sell it at traders, and I mean, if luck is on our side, we make a nifty little profit, dude. Uh, it does not appear that this place has any good loot, really, unless, no, nothing in there. Yeah, it appears to be a bit of a dud. I haven't really visited this exact variation of the trader too often, so I don't know if there's like any hidden loot nearby. I do know that certain settlement types do have hidden loot, uh, but to my knowledge, this one doth not. All the freaking workbenches are destroyed. But we'll grab what we can. I don't know, maybe the dumpster will have something good with it. Who knows? Let's see what's inside. Duo number one. Two dollars. I will be selling these two dollars. Immediately. And then vending machine rentals. These are more oriented towards multiplayer. So we can actually sell stuff to other people. Kind of like your own little trader. So Jen, 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 Jen. 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 I got two bucks for you. I'm selling the tea at a discount. Dollars usually sell for a little over a dollar each, right? So that's my tip to you, homegirl. Thanks for the business. That's my We're tip to you. We're open from dawn to dusk, since you know we don't have clocks. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Someone should reinvent the clock. That'd be pretty hype. I'm not gonna lie. Now, as much as I'd love to put down this motorcycle, oh, hold up! Oh, little, 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 like gold. I got some of that too. Six silver nuggets. And five gold ones. Also six rocket launcher parts. Not really planning on building a rocket launcher anytime so soon. No problem, Jen. I will be back. Uh, let's learn that. And let's learn that. And man, I don't know. We got so much stuff to do. Hello there, governor. Good boy there, governor. Oh, we got a little bit more XP for taking her down. What is that? I didn't learn anything that should be granting more experience all of a sudden. Anyways, all right. Before we make our way back and put down the motorcycle, I do want to get a quick little look around town and then get the opportunity the other episode to do a full scouting route. I did a little bit, not a full one. And uh, we'll see if there's any other very interesting locations, but I don't know what that noise was. A little bit scared. Um, 
I'm not... Is this a factory? Like, I passed by this earlier. Is it? No, no, no. I think it's just an apartment building. There's that weird, like, water tower up there. Okay, that's what was throwing me off. I do want to explore all this town. Is it, there, there could be a really good loot location I do not want to pass by. Potentially like a gun store. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Anything for a chance at that auto shotgun, man. That's the next big thing we're working towards. I mean, power tools. Let's see, yeah, power tools. I hope one of these two traders have a power tool during their re restock. It'd be awesome. Or they send me on more quests to freaking do trade routes because that means we discover more settlements. I am game for that. I'm game ski doodle, bro. And hello, we just found the main road of this place. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna give us a quick follow here and see maybe if this trails off anywhere. That could give us a good lead once we have our motorcycle, which will be significantly more mobile than this bicycle, on a, a potential good direction to take. That looks like a funky building. Never mind, just didn't render in fully. Not as funky as I originally thought. Ooh, I see a little walled in. Fenced in building up ahead, stone fences. That might be promising. So we'll give that a quick look, ski doodle eh? yeah, A few decent buildings past the tree line. Might be worth it. We'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. But uh, yeah, like I was saying a little bit earlier. I think I was saying it earlier. I'm not sure. I, mean, I got it mixed up and missed all the freaking hype. But I hope everyone out there is having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That does only keep on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that indeedly do. That's exactly what the joy I do do because nothing helps. I don't know, man. Nothing not, like nothing keeps a smile on my face and gets me so hyped during these videos. Then knowing that hopefully, you know, some of my positivity might rub off on someone and help cheer someone up someone's day up. And, you know, then they might be able to cheer up someone else's day and just kind of, you know, create this like chain reaction of making the world like the most in incrementally better place i'd rather focus my energies on being a positive fella and you know spreading that positivity and just i don't know just trying to make the world as just as smallly better of a place as possible so if y'all ever want to do something to i don't know if you guys if you guys are enjoying the video smash the like button no if you want feel free to smash it but if you guys are enjoying the video and you know, do want to give me a little bit of payback hey i'm just uh go be nice do, do something nice for someone the most insignificant thing ever compliment their shirt hey you got a cool shirt I can seriously make someone's day. The small things like that. You know, so. Do something like that. I already got a smile on my face just thinking about it. I don't know. That's just me, the positive. I'm, I don't know, I'm just a positive fellow. That's my philosophy. Y'all, I talk about it plenty. But. I think we've given this thing pretty much the full rundown. We do have that road. It's a little bit up north. And this appears to be another dead end town too. So interesting, these two didn't connect, but. There's a road that should lead us back up north, and honestly, it might connect us back with the town system we're already aware of. We might be able to do some kind of full loop-de-loop -loop and pull, and your shoes are looking goo-doo-doo. Might be able to do something like that. Ooh. Yeah, and... Mm. I was gonna say, before we leave this town, there's a coal mine I should loot. Why? Because we're gonna be going back to the east anyway. Back to the other trader. And eh, might as well turn it a quest. Eh, better than not turn it a quest. Make a little bit of money. Get a little bit of experience, both from the quest completion and from actually killing some zombies and yeah, potentially finding some good loot too. Also a pretty cool building we just passed there on the left. Built in fence. But I I don't know. We gotta start thinking, because if if we can indeed get our hands on those power tools by day 21, I wanna build a custom base. And I'm not gonna lie. I think maybe just right in between, like right right here somewhere, and like kind of connect this road. <gasps> My base could be the middleman between these towns. Oh, that sounds so stupid. I love it. Yep, I'm game. I think I found exactly what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Just the thought of connecting these two towns that are, that are so close. They were meant to be together. Maybe they're separated for a reason. <gasps> maybe the towns folk hate each other. It'll be awesome. I can get the zombies to fight each other. Oh, we got the biggest brain plays around, baby. That's why you're watching your boy Star. Now, nothing but big brain plays. No, don't want to hear. Don't want you bring it up. Any of these totally not real small brain plays from the past. Don't know what you're talking about. That's Cap, bro. That's Cap. Not the most accurate thing from a distance if we're heading for, uh, for headshots, but YOLO. I'll shoot him up somewhere else where it might matter. Come on, man. Hey, I go. He got the hint that time. Alright, let's take this thing underway. This might be a bit of a bigger location than expected. because This does go into the underground and stuff, this coal mine does. And y'all can see right over here. 
I don't really know it's like... I mean, okay, that door's locked. So we're not going to get in through there. I imagine the ladder's the way to go, so... Hold up. Did I not find a level 3 sledgehammer somewhere? Hold up. I swear I had a level 3 sledgehammer. Did I leave that back at base? Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. My goldfish memory is definitely kicking in right now. I... Definitely remember a level 3 sledgehammer somewhere. I will get it. Until then, what else? Let's bash some brains in with our steel club. Relatively newer weapon. And I like the new new. Hello. Nothing like faulty stairs. My favorite. <laughs> Just kidding. Bashing in brains. Of zombies. My true favorite. Uh, three death. That's a little ways down. I imagine the way that we want to go, so just make sure we're not missing any major loot. Sure, I pass over a few garbage piles here and there. Sure, they have a chance of having something good, but for the sake of time and keeping it action-packed, we're going to keep it action-packed. Uh, yeah, this... I don't know, dude. Uh, there's not really any other way to go. Oh, hello. Secret box. I see you. I was going to say, there's not really any other way to go, but... Ooh, I see a secret little box. And you are crazy if you think I'm not about to loot this. Absolutely loco. Loco for Cocoa Puffs. And for this. Make sure that we can actually parkour here. Oh, hello, hidden stash. Let's go. Come on, dude. You're supposed to be better than that. I hype you up and you give me four plates. Not cool, bro. Not cool. All right, though. Only ways down. We got a freaking coal mine to get through. Uh, let's send it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> it collapses on me. Woohoo! All right, we want to make our way over here to the ladder. I feel like that's the safest way of getting down here. And man, I mean, to my knowledge, there's not really a way back up from here. Although I do see light. Light is usually good. That usually indicates the way that we want to go. Luckily, this thing is on fire, so it's going to give us a little bit extra light. I have my headlamp on too. Um, it is eerily quiet. Not gonna lie. Like, I, it's really weirdly quiet, man. I'm about to poop my pants, ain't I? Hello. Just kidding, you're pooping yours. Ha ha! Get pranked, bro. No one else? Okay. Just wanna check our six. I mean, it's gonna be a good location to come back to in the future if you ever do need raw resources, especially once we get our pretty much chainsaw equivalent of mining. It's called the auger, in case y'all don't know what that is. Definitely gonna want to do that. Um, destroy generator bank. I mean, if I brought a wrench with me, which I did not, I could probably do something pretty cool with that. Scrap it up, get some solid stuff. This will lead us over here to like the second floor of this mine. Hello! Did I jump a centimeter off my chair? Maybe. There's no video evidence. Let's go, dude. That duct tape's really hype. That's a very valuable resource. We can either craft it with glue or find it naturally. Yeet. And finding it naturally is pretty cool. Solid mining done here, lads. Good stuff, good stuff. If you'll excuse me, I'm on a quest. Hello. There's a loud zombie noises. But from where? Oh, hello. Appears to be right over here. How are you, my kind sir? Dead. Magnificent. Yeah, it's quite, quite. Uh, clear areas. It wants us to go there? Okay, well, that's where the last few zombies should be. We got a little food supply in there. Um, I think we can sneak into here. Yes, sir. Any zombies in here? No? Okay. Food? I'll take food, man. I've been running a little bit low on that stuff. Y'all can see the little green meter at the bottom? That's our food meter. Let's fill that up. A little bit of can of sham. A little bit of soup. Sure, I could buy food from the trader. I'm stubborn. I'm gonna keep doing things my way. <laughs> Oh, okay, keep bopping my head there. And gorgeous. <laughs> Anything in here? Yes, no, maybe so. I already see a zombie. Hello, ding dong. The witch is gone. I repeat, the witch is gone. Oh, mama. He ain't gone, though. Okay, she's gone. He gone. How much does it take to get to the center of a freaking big boy? Dude was eating club hits like no other. He was eating club hits like they were a freaking club sandwich. Hey, a reinforced chest. Your boy like. Your boy really like. Oh, wah, wah, wee, wah. <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. Dude, I seriously, I, I swear I remember having a level 3 sledgehammer. I, I, I must have put that away. There's no, maybe. 
Did I? I might have. Man, I don't remember. I might have found that when I was. I don't know if I found that in the basement of the water workshop. Or if I found that when I was killing zombies during the horde and maybe I put it away. So it's either in the basement or I put it away. I think those are the only two options. I think. Don't quote me. I'll, I will go back and get it. I'm not giving up on a level three freaking sledgehammer. That's some good stuff. All right. We got this little location and we did finish that quest. So that appears to be the rest of the zombies we got to worry about. We got a little leather that will take us upside. Okay, wasn't as complex as I... I thought there was a more complex version of this cave, but I may have been mistaken. And, uh, that's it. I'm still locked in here. Come on, man. Where's the common courtesy? I'm just gonna break in through one of these side doors, like... I don't feel like opening that door, and I'm not gonna lockpick it. Actually, I can't lockpick it. Never mind. Yeah, that's a no-go for me, chief. I'm breaking out the old-fashioned way. Then we'll go turn in this quest to the olden trader. Actually, dude, we gotta flex on the old trader. You already know. We're gonna stop by home. We're gonna grab the goods. And the time will be here. Man, if we got enough gas... Okay, if we, A, if we... Okay. Side note, if we don't have enough gas, we can hit up a gas-type location. We'll try to get a solid supply. Heard a strange noise from the left. I'm gonna keep riding. We can try to find, like, a gas-type location. Fuel up on our motorcycle fuel. And maybe during the next nighttime, if we want to be productive, we could just ride through the night. And see maybe uh, where that major road of this kind of new town will take us. Also, funny side note, I, cars are capable of blowing up. You know what would have been hilarious? I, I just freaking ram into the car so hard on a bicycle it blows up. I mean, it'd be pretty sad. But that'd also be pretty funny, let's be honest. All right, all right. Let's keep her going then, shall we? We've got about one kilometer to go until the trader, but we'll be making a bit of a pit stop. About halfway over. We got our own church. We got to go. Over to, and then, uh, my call. While we're doing that, also do not forget the things that we gotta do. We as a collective, everyone out there, to go to, over to twitch.tv slash starslip, link in the description, and in the pinned comment every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We are going live with a live stream right after work for me, right after my 9 to 5 Monday to Friday job. First thing when the weekend hits, we started off right. Face cam turned on, live chat ready to go, and we are live streaming for a few hours every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Star, but I don't, know, I don't know what time 6 p.m. Eastern time is. Well, no worries, because it's like 24 time zones across the world. It's gonna get confusing. You wanna pop over to the other link in the description and in the pinned comment, twitch.tv slash star slash schedule. That will let you know what time that the stream does start in your own local time. So pretty handy. If you ask me, go ahead and give that a look. And don't forget to hit us with a follow as well over on twitch.tv because then if you have the Twitch app notified, for example, or if you have like email notifications, you should get notified whenever we do go live, not just with our regular scheduled stream, but also with some of the random streams that we do do as well. Usually I try to do like a stream uh, on Sunday, a little bit earlier in the day to kind of like make up for the fact that some people might miss the stream because like due to time zones and stuff it's like too late so i try to do it a little bit earlier in the day not 6 p.m eastern time maybe like 4 p.m eastern time instead maybe 3 p.m eastern time something like that so i try to do that to compensate a little bit or and then there are also some bonus streams as well like just last week we did a little bit of a birthday bash live stream which was pretty fun uh in the middle of the week so it's a great way of staying tuned with all the content that we are uh putting out just want to make sure that y'all are aware of that jazz pop on over and looking forward to seeing you and hello Hello, we are back at home. Please tell me the sledgehammer I'm looking for is here. Like, I vividly remember a level 3 sledgehammer. And there's no way I left it at the water station, is there? There is a way I left it at the water station, I think. It's because I was running out of inventory room, wasn't I? Gosh darn it! Alright, well, I'll go back and grab that. Unless it's somewhere. There's no way it could be anywhere else. Alright, good news though. Woohoo, first things first. Let's put away everything that we can just to stack things. Save up a little bit of inventory room. And then, let's grab this gas, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We get to skip on a few little steps along the way. That'll come in handy when we get the auger or chainsaw. Get us a whole ton more, uh, what you might call it, gas in the tank for our electric power tools. I mean, I guess they're not electric tools. They literally require gas. Give us a little bit more in terms of power tools. That will come in handy. Uh, and no, no, no. We ain't rolling up on the bicycle. Even though the back? Check it out. A big reason for this. Oh, I could use the hunting rifle. Well... Eh, that's fine. I didn't really need that. Oh, we could have planted some landmines, too. I'll use those for the next time. I digress. Y'all see the amount of inventory room that this bike has? So check it out. Not only will the motorcycle be better, it will require gas, but it will be a better vehicle. Not only that, wait till you see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the power 
of the motorcycle, our new vehicle of choice. Oh, don't tip over. Don't tip over. Look at that. Look at that storage room. Four rows, four times the storage. What that means is if we go on uh, loot and adventures uh, a little bit further away from home. Oh, baby. That ain't stopping a thing. We're coming home with a haul. And anyways, we got to go and fill this thing up with a little bit of gas. So why don't we go into not the storage. Let's uh, open that puppy up there. And... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, we refueled. We got 62% on the gas tank. Could be higher, could be lower. But look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at this beautiful little motorcycle. It's got spikes on the front. I'm going zombie bowling in just a little bit. But that right there is that beauty that I wanted to go over. This motorcycle is a thing to behold. Let's get all the angles. We're having a little, a little private photo shoot. Get out the way, grass. Why aren't you being destroyed by my spikes? Whatever. Look at that. And if we hit shift, we start speeding up a little bit. Oh, do we got like a bump or something we can hit? Yeah. Okay, that was significantly smaller bump than I anticipated. I digress. Onwards we go. And man, it's a little bit sad we skipped over the mini bike, but hey, don't look a gift horse in its mouth or, I don't know, some kind of wise old saying said by someone somewhere. Oh, hold up. You see this little dirt pile right here? You already know, baby. Yeehaw! Did not have the speed for that, I repeat. Did not have the speed. Let's go and hit that with a little turnaround. Is this a waste of gas? Yes. Do I care? No, we got like seven more days till the next horde hits. Yeehaw! I'm gonna need a better ramp. What ifs? Y'all see the power of this thing? We'll find a zombie to run over here in just a second, but in the meantime... Skirt. Hello, trade. Oh, I was supposed to bring some stuff to sell you, wasn't I? I don't have too much to sell. I mean, until he has some good stuff for me to buy, I'm I'm in no rush to sell. Let us speak, survive. Gratitude. We'll do... Ooh, I'm taking that rifle ammo. Yes, sir. I blew through so much in that last horde night. Let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We got some level two quests to the east as well. And we got a clear zombie quest. I've got a job I'll take it, man. Already. This is perfect. They're kind of sending us back and forth a little bit. Although, before I go back to that eastern town, I do want to see about... Hold up. Was there not another... T oh, there it is. The tier 2 clear. Right there. Not even that far. So, we're going to hit that up before we go back to that trader. Now that we have two traders so close to each other, there's a possibility we'll be able to hit quests back and forth and kind of ping and pong our way back and forth. Tons of experience coming our way. Tons of money, money, money coming our way. And overall, good things. And again, in one day, oh, it's a day 15. Check day 16, again, both of these uh, traders for. will have new stuff in stock. And I mean, we're running a little bit low on cash, but we should be able to find some things to sell. We got some factories to loot. Like, everything's just coming together so perfectly. It's, act it's actually kind of insane. I, I am shooketh right now, dude. Absolutely shooketh. Uh, nothing really here that I want to buy. We already went over that, though. But that sledgehammer has me stumped, Maybe dude. Next time. Happy travel, survivor. I know it's somewhere. I didn't scrap it. I must have forgotten to take it out of its box. And again, I think that was due to my inventory constraints. I don't know, man. That's the power of the goldfish memory. Hello! We got a taker. Oh, we got a few of them. Yeah, man. That is not going to get old. We still got so much gas to play with without further ado. I got to kill one of these things. We're only knocking them over. They is not dying. When will you die through my spikes? Okay. What about that zombie over here? Actually, we might have killed one of them. Oh, never mind. She's still walking. All right. Hold up. We got to teach her a lesson. I mean, okay, even if they don't die. Yeah, got it. Man, it's fun to watch that ragdoll effect. In effect. Yeet! Oh my god, we went airborne that time a little bit. Right off that bump. I've never actually used this to the point where, like, it kills a zombie, though, so... Good little experiment! <laughs> that freaking made a little dong! Like a gong being hit. Once it hit the freaking, uh, traitor. Hold up. We gotta set up this spare right here. Hello, hello. Boop! They get to you. Boop! They get to you. Oh no! That could've been bad. Imagine if my motorcycle just got stuck between the freaking wall and the spikes. That would have been no bueno. Come on, what's it take to die? At a certain point, you gotta take enough damage from this to where you'll die, right? Like, you cannot... Boop. Okay, I I'm starting to get a little bit wasteful with this gas, but I'm kind of committed to this. There's no way that it's ragdoll, right? There are spikes on the front of this thing. Spikes kill. Ay, jeebaliba. As much as I love watching them ragdoll. Man, boop, 
Boop. Oh, that one might have died, actually. That might have been like a dying sound. Yay, no, maybe so. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hold up. She's still alive. Yeah, she's still alive. <gasps> we took one down, though. So they can definitely withstand a little bit of punishment. But uh, luckily for us, we're able to dish out a lot of it. Yeah, this is just me and this motorcycle are going to get along very well. I will call it the, the Deathmobile. Woohoo! Is that the finishing blow? That right there, ladies and gentlemen. The finishing blow. That be what we cometh for. And with that, let's make our way back home. Continue pondering the sledgehammer mystery. Oh, airtime. That's what you like to see. Continue pondering this motorcycle, not motorcycle mystery. Sledgehammer mystery. And bro, we, I want some answers. I need some answers. Because either I'm delusional, good chance of that, or there is a freaking level three sledgehammer out there somewhere that we're gonna have to go save in private. Ryan Mo on to go and get. And I mean, where's the case scenario? If it is over there, I mean, we're about to knock out a clear quest there. We gotta knock out one there. We gotta talk to the trader there. We got a freaking weapon factory there. There's plenty of stuff to keep us busy. And maybe during the nighttime, we shall ride into the night. Maybe I want to get a little bit more gas. We're only at 50% capacity. I might want a full tank before we go out on an extended adventure. Do not want to be stranded out in the nighttime in the middle of nowhere. Especially, I don't want to strand my motorcycle. I have to haul that back somehow, so I'll go a few decisions here and there to make lots, but seven days to die. Dude, the last three episodes have actually been insane in terms of progress. Like, we went from thinking this town had some great loot, but that's all it was restricted to, and we were so far away from the closest trader and home, or the closest potential home, but now, man, I want to build a custom base from scratch right between these towns, connect these two roads, have two traders super nearby, four different factories nearby, and who knows where else this road that we just discovered might lead to, too, because we thought this town was a dead end once we saw this road come to a close, but then town number two, the freaking Twin Cities out here, they gotta get connected. Things are coming to Millhouse, dude. And I'm still on my quest for that auto shotgun rain. I'm still gonna continue questing towards better vehicles, and right now, I mean, the big kahuna power tools. So either we gotta level up, learn how to craft those things manually, which uh, is a possibility. What exactly are we gonna need for that? I believe it is uh, advanced engineering, learn to craft generators, uh, la, 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 la. learn to craft shotgun turrets, learn to craft, uh, is it Grease Monkey? Where do I learn to craft the freaking? I might just need. I, hold up. It'll just tell me if I check. Hold up. Really? There you go, chainsaw. Yeah, we, yeah never mind. We're gonna need the schematic. So. We need to find some bookstores. As weird as that sounds, uh, places with books, bookstores, high on the priority list now. So we can get those potentially power tools by hand, or maybe we'll just continue trying to find some more traders and we can just play the odds game. And eventually they will appear and we'll be able to make the swing a trade for them because there's plenty of good places for us to loot up. Plenty of loot to be had, plenty of loot to be sold, and then we can focus our levels on the more fun stuff like uh, becoming more deadly or learning better base defenses, which actually some of these perks right here through advanced engineering would lead to. We would learn how to craft electrical stuff for our base and ultimately freaking shotgun turrets, SMG auto turrets, and some really good goods. But I digress. The future is so bright. And our new home away from home down here in the south, it has these original towns beat with some significantly cooler locations. So I'm looking forward to it. With that said, with that done, that's going to start bringing the end to this episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 19. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.